Shakespeare, at length thy pious fellows give the world thy works, thy works by which outlive thy tomb, thy name must, when that stone is rent and time dissolves thy Stratford monument, here we alive will view thee still. Leonard Diggs, First Folio Introduction, Ben Johnson, Editor. Notice the hyphen. It's a pen name. That stone monument may crumble, but Oxford's extraordinary works will live on. Diggs was part of a family of scientists and scholars who had lifelong connections to Oxford through his tutors and Cecil. Coincidentally, Diggs' father was overseer of the 1616 Last Testament of Will Shakespeare, whose estate included a bed, but not one book, nor one letter. Diggs knew the truth about Oxford and about Shakespeare. Oxford moved to King's Place in Hackney in 1591. This was where, in peace, he spent his last years turning his plays into literature. Well, Hackney Wick is about one mile from the nearby London suburb of Stratford. Today, that London Stratford is only one stop away on the London Tube. Oxford, the other Stratford man, the real one. <laughs> 